Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Collins Family Urban Homestead. Today is Sunday, March the 1st. We didn't have any um, cold weather. Matter of fact, I'm out here in short sleeves today. It's a beautiful day here in North Texas. Uh, but now we're kind of realizing we got a lot of stuff to do in a very short period of time. Didn't get a whole lot of chores and stuff done this weekend because I ended up having to go to work all day Saturday, but about 11 or 12 hours, however long it was, that put a full day in on Saturday at work. So I didn't get to do anything really around here. Just um, went and changed the ducks' water after we got back from church. Kind of did the general chores of uh, changing their water out and giving them food and collecting eggs, all that kind of fun stuff. Matter of fact, the ducks are just now getting back in their pool. So let me go show you that. That's kind of funny to see them when they get in the fresh water. This is pretty funny. Yeah, they are kind of funny to watch when they get in fresh water. They really do like fresh water, but they go through a ton of water. One of the other issues... Well, fortunately, that was just a little Amtrak train, but I kind of want to show you the chickens a little bit. I got one of them that I'm a little bit concerned about. She's been underneath the coop for the better part of a week or so. She's moving around a little bit. She almost acts like she's paralyzed, but she has gotten up and walked. But I'm, I don't know what's going on. If you got any comments, you know, let me let me know in the comments down below what you think's going on. So let me turn around and show you the chickens. And the one there that's underneath the feeder is the one I am concerned about. You kind of take you in there and see what I can do. It may just be that um, she is one of, the, one of the rooster's favorites. Unfortunately, I do have two roosters. One of them is going to have to get be taken care of and get rid, gotten rid of soon. Probably sooner than later. I just don't have the time to do anything with them right now. So I just kind of want to put this quick up, do a little quick update. I'll let you guys know what's going on. Let me introduce, let me show you guys Sadie here too. Come here, come here. Sadie. Hold on. Sadie, sit. Sadie. Sit. Good girl. Stay. 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 Good girl. Stay. 
thing. Good girl. So that's my Sadie. She's uh, having a lot of fun tonight. So I figured I'd just to give you a quick update. No cooking videos this weekend. Been busy working and doing other stuff. So things are about to get busy. I know I've got to fill up some beds in a couple of the garden beds. Get some compost delivered. That should be <coughs> that should be a fun video. Watch me do wheelbarrows full of compost. So we got a lot of stuff coming up. This is just that time of year when things are a little bit slow. Now you guys saw my tomato seed starting video a while back. Well, I'm about ready to call that a complete failure. Nothing has sprouted. Um, and that's unusual. Normally I, I'll get something sprouted anyway. None of them sprouted. Uh, today is day 14 because it's been right at two weeks. Um, I may put it, I, I've got a video that I've, I've been kind of following along on a daily basis. I may put that out a little bit later and uh, kind of show that, but it's nothing's come up. Probably need to email Haas Tools and see if they have any ideas on what what wrong went wrong but at this point in time you know it's too late in the year to start them again because i want my tomatoes in the ground in the next two weeks three weeks at most and they should have already been up and doing good so i'm behind the the eight ball on that getting those up so it is what it is you adjust adapt and overcome and so we got a lot of stuff to do coming up I'm going to have some resources coming my way pretty soon that uh, I'm going to be able to do some build projects as well. And also one time next, it's weird to think next week is actually daylight savings time and the clock spring forward and so we have a lot more daylight in the, uh, in the afternoon. Now one bad thing about that, normally I like, I prefer much for longer days like that. However, Birds go to bed a lot better, a lot later at night. That means I gotta stay up, and when I'm, my alarm goes off before four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that makes for a short night's sleep. And I only sleep for about six hours a night anyway. So, yeah, that's gonna that's the the one down part of having chickens and ducks, putting them up and it's still daylight. Yeah, they don't want to go up. The other thing is. Typically this time of year, I'm all garden. This is my first year raising birds. And now it's like trying to do those chores and do the garden stuff. It, you know, just if you're gonna do that, just realize that's a, a an extra chore that needs to be done. It adds more work to your, to your load. And so be prepared for that as well. It's not just a matter of giving them food and water. There's a whole lot of other stuff involved in it, so. Think about that as you go forward. That's going to be an issue. It's going to take you know a lot of your time and work on that as well. So I think I'm going to call it. God bless. Have a great week, and we'll see you in the next video.